Hey Blessings Youth, it is Pastor Hilmer here and this is our last Blessings Youth Group video of this year. And uh, Today I want to wrap up our, our section, this mini section on prayer. Over the last few weeks we've, we've talked through a few different questions. We've talked about uh, what is prayer. Last week we talked about uh, how we pray, our attitude in prayer. And today I want to talk about the, the content of our prayer. What is it that we actually should be praying for? Now, I recognize that um, we're obviously going to pray different prayers. We're, we're all going to have things that we pray for uh, specifically. But the, the general outline, you might say, the general structure or framework uh, of our prayers will often be relatively similar. And I think this is what Jesus is teaching his disciples when he's teaching them the Lord's Prayer. Jesus is not saying to them, this is the, the only prayer that you can pray. Jesus is not saying that when you pray, you must always use exactly these same words. What, what Jesus is doing them is he's kind of teaching them a pattern, uh, a structure to help them uh, to learn how to pray. Maybe you could think of, of prayer in terms of um, building a house. So, for example, imagine if I asked each of you to design a house. You know, you would go away and and you would start to sketch things out. Maybe you would come up with a a blueprint of some sort, right? Just a, a kind of a, a drawing of the house. And if I were to compare these drawings, uh, I'm sure that they would all look different in, in in unique ways. So, for example, the houses would be different colors. Um, you know, some of you might want a pool in the backyard. Some of you might want uh, a real nice lawn in the backyard. Some of you might want uh, a giant TV room or something like that. Each house would have differences, but there would also be some things that are the same. Each house, for example, would have a bathroom. Uh, each house would have a kitchen. Each house would have a bedroom because these are, these are things that are just kind of fundamental. These are the things that just belong to a house. And, and the same is true when it comes to prayer. There are certain things that are just kind of fundamental. There are certain things that just really belong to a prayer. And that's the point that Jesus is making when he teaches his disciples the Lord's Prayer. He's teaching them the things that are foundational uh, to, to a good, healthy prayer. Now, I found this diagram that I want to share with you, uh, which kind of breaks apart the separate sections uh, that belong to prayer. And it uses the acronym uh, PRAY. There are different acronyms out there. Uh, this is the one that I'll use for today. So four parts uh, that belong to prayer. The first is praise. We need to take the time in our prayer to praise God for who he is and to thank him uh, for the good things that he's done and for the good gifts that he gives. So part of our prayer should be devoted to praise. Part of our prayer should involve repentance. In our prayers, uh, we need to ask God to forgive us for the things that we have done wrong. And we need to learn to be specific when we repent. Instead of just generally saying, you know, forgive our sins, we need to learn uh, to specifically confess the ways in which we have sinned and to ask God for forgiveness. We also need to ask. Um, in our prayers, we need to ask God for the things that we need. And here we need to ask God uh, for things that we need both physically and and spiritually, we need certain things from God in order to have a healthy body, but we also need certain things from God in order to have a healthy soul. And so we need to ask. And finally, we need to yield. And I really love this one. It's, it's probably one of the hardest aspects for us to learn when it comes to prayer. We need to learn to say, God, not my will, but yours be done. We need to ask God to help us focus on his kingdom and not ours. So again, um, each of your prayers are, are going to be specific to you. They're, they're, they're going to be different things that you pray for based on your own situation and your own circumstances. But, but these four things, um, they, they should kind of be common to your prayer as well. They should be something that the prayers have in common. And I want to encourage you to maybe try and apply these as you pray. And it's going to seem a little bit uh, awkward as, as you start out and as you try to kind of incorporate these things into your prayer. Uh, but as you do it more often, you'll learn to pray in a way that is unique to you and yet beautiful and pleasing to God. 
So that's it. Uh, that is our last Blessings Youth Group video for this year. And that's also it for me as your Blessings Youth Group leader. Um, I just want to take this time to thank you uh, and to say it's been such a privilege uh, to walk alongside of you for these past few years. Um, I've been blessed by getting to know you. I'm incredibly uh, thankful for you and for the Blessings Youth Group uh, team. And it's our prayer uh, for you and for them that as we move forward, we would continue to fix our eyes on Jesus, that you would come to know him, to love him, and more and more to live for him. God bless you all.